What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player guide. Today we are going to be taking a look at Marquinhos. So this guy is an absolute beast. I would say he's the pick of this Showtime pack. You've got Cabela and you've got Mbappe as well. We've already covered Mbappe. We will do Cabela next, but we do have Marquinhos now. So Marquinhos is the only player in this selection that has got a Showtime player skill. So the Showtime player skills are phenomenal finishing, you've got the dribbling one, you've got Fortress, which he has, you've got the game change and pass, you've got the edged crossing, um, so yeah, this is the only player in this, this trio that does have a new uh, Showtime skill, Fortress, right, um, I've done a video on Fortress before and what it means and stuff like that, but basically it just gives a boost to your defensive capabilities in the second half, so Marquinhos's card, even his standard card lads, is insane, I've been using him on my road to glory, and I won't say he single-handedly won me games, but I think since the last patch or two, he has become the top defender because I think they've changed things around slightly. Um, you can see here that Marquinhos' play style is build-up, right? So this means that he's going to be, you know, it's defined more as somebody that's going to be able to bring the ball forward, going to be more comfortable on the ball with passing compared to a complete aggressive destroyer, somebody like Rudiger or somebody that's just, you know, dominant on the ball um, or off the ball trying to get it back and very aggressive. But you can look at his stats and his skills and it kind of it kind of has changed a little bit, right? So straight off the rip, he's got man marking, interception, blocker, aerial superiority, fortress, acrobatic clearance, and captaincy, along with heading, okay? So the only one he doesn't really have there that I would say, or the two that he doesn't have that you can add on if you do get him, is fighting spirit and slide and tackle. But to be honest, it's not a massive, massive um, issue with this card, especially with the stats that he has. Because if you look at Marquinhos' base stats here, He's pretty much got everything that you could possibly want in the 80s, straight off the rip. All his defensive stats, his jumping and his heading ability are all above 80. This is a very solid card if you were to just play him. I played the standard version of Marquinhos, who was like an 84, I think, um, straight off the rip, and he was dominating for me, right? But of course, we want to see the ultimate training guide. Now, I've seen people play Marquinhos as a right back, and I've also seen people play him as a DMF. So if you are new to the game and you're wondering, yeah, I mean, this guy looks very solid. He's not that fast, but, you know, we can slot him in as an anchorman type position and put a deep line on him. It's not a bad idea. Somebody that can play as a DMF, I'm going to show you a little tip in another video that I do. If you are struggling to concede goals or struggling to, uh, with conceding goals in the middle of the pitch, right? But Marquinhos over here on eFootballDB, this is a DMF version of him, right? So we've kind of just boosted up his dexterity and his lower body which is going to improve his balance, his speed, acceleration, stamina, and of course his offensive awareness, a little touch as well. But we still got 8 into defending. So we've got defensive awareness, tackling above 90, aggression at 88, and defensive engagement at 89. Defensive engagement is a very important stat. I would say the most important stat, along with stamina, if you are playing a DMF and you are aggressive when you want to try to get the ball back, whether you are by the, you know, pressing the AI, or you're doing it manually yourself. As I said, I will do a video on that later on. But I do think that this card is, is definitely not worth training as a DMF, unless you have a very specific play style that you want to use, um, which I will cover in a future video, but it kind of means playing like a three at the back, and then being able to slot into like a four or a five at the back, which are sub-tactic. Um, and you're able to just, you know, bring Marquinhos from a DMF deep roll actually back to like a third man CB and you still have your left and right wingers or your left and right full backs. Um, but I will get into that in a future video, right? The next one that we have is probably the best version of him. <coughs> Excuse me. And this guy is an insane player. He's got his defensive stats all above 95 uh, or all above 93, sorry. Aggression 93 is the lowest one. That's not going to get the boost, obviously, with the player form arrow, but the rest of them will. And, you know, you get a form arrow here with this guy, you're going to have pretty much maxed out defensive stats. You also have 75 speed, 75 acceleration, and 90 jump with 87 header. He is a little bit small for a center back, comparing him to uh, some of the big, strong players that you can get. So I do think that you need to have that header and jump up. You can do that by putting one in, one extra into jump there. Um, if you want to go that route, you still have 78 into physical contact, which will get the boost up to 80. So you're going to have pretty much every single stat that you want exactly where you want it. Like he's probably the most balanced center back that they have released, apart from, I would say, Tommy Asu and apart from the legend cards like Maldini, um, you know, and any of those guys. Cannavaro obviously wipes the floor with him stat-wise, 
but I do think that Marquinhos is probably one of the easiest defenders to use as well. Now, as ever, lads, we do have an alternative, and it is Varane. If you are looking to get the Manchester United man, this guy is pretty decent. He is very, very tall, so you don't need to worry too much about the header and the jump as much. So we can tweak that a little bit if we want to. But he's got the speed, he's got the acceleration, he's got defensive stats, tackling is 90. Aggression at 84 is a little bit weak, but that's because he is a build-up um, playing style. Like So the build-up playing style is more kind of bringing the ball forward, being a bit of a kind of a ball player rather than just a destroyer that's just going to go for the ball like a homer missile, right? So it depends on your play style. I would always recommend if you are playing, right? And I'll just show you a, a, quick, little, um, a quick little tip here. I would always recommend that if you're playing, right, if you're playing a CB uh, style position and uh, are trying to set up your tactics, I would say if you're using a tree at the back, we have got Marquinhos here, who's a build-up. We've got Delict, who's a build-up. And we've got Pavard, who's a defensive full-back. So this, for me, in theory, shouldn't really work. You know what I mean? I would always prefer to have um, somebody that is able to kind of, like, is a destroyer or somebody that's able to just win the ball. None of these are. Um, except for Thiago Silva, but Thiago Silva is very slow. You can see there is acceleration at 62. So depending on the play style or depending on who I'm going to be coming up against, if I needed a very aggressive center back, um, I will swap out one of them, Delict or else Pavard, because Marquinhos is going to stay in there anyway. Um, so if I'm coming up against, you know, Haaland or somebody like that, I'll want the height and I'll want slower defenders to be able to deal with him. But if I'm coming up against Romario and Cruyff and Messi, I will swap out. Even though Thiago Silva doesn't have the much that much pace, his destroyer playstyle will kick in. I will be doing a video on all the playstyles. I'm still working on it. It's just taking me a long time. So yeah, Varane is a good player. He's a good option if you want to have somebody that's quite cheap. But yeah, this version of Marquinhos is up there with some of the very best centre-backs. So um, I definitely think that he's worth a look at. Is he worth spinning for? That's up to you. I mean, I still see the same argument going on. You know, like, you don't need to spin for these players, lads, if you have got a beastly squad. I mean, I've seen people that have got this version of Marquinhos, which is actually a better version of him off the rip, right? He doesn't have as good aggression or defensive awareness, but he's got better everything else, as you can see there, just slightly. And of course, as well, he does have four less levels, but it's a pretty much identical card. Like, you're not going to win matches with this version of Marquinhos ahead of this version of him. Like, they're so similar that you can get them up to the same kind of area. You are going to be a little bit uh, weaker with the card, but, I mean, one or two stats in each statistic is not going to make a huge difference, in my personal opinion. Uh, you know, it's a big difference between having, you know, a 93 aggression compared to, like, an 80 aggression. Yeah, there is. But there isn't a big difference between having a 90 aggression versus a 95 aggression or 94 aggression. So, yeah, it just depends your play style. But that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you in a bit. Other than that, we will see you guys later on. And uh, we might be streaming for an hour or two today. So make sure you get involved in that if we are. Peace.